What's up, y'all? We in the same spot. We started with the very first video, if I'm not mistaken. I think I did my first video like this because I didn't know how to vlog. I think I just propped it up like this. But, yeah, the bathroom echoes because I'm in my master bedroom, bathroom. So this is where all the magic happens. And this is the bathroom that started the YouTube. Probably was wondering what that bump, what I was circling on my face. It's a bump eliminator. Oops. It's this right here. Definitely recommend. It's helped my skin. No, this is no promo either. Like, this is real deal. For the bros that's watching that grow facial hair, you know how irritating your skin can get. Uh, how irritated it'll get after you shave and stuff. But that exfoliating brush I was using in the beginning, it helps a lot with uh, reducing the redness and irritation. This is the sauce that I ain't never really told nobody at the end of every face wash routine. You go in there with some sunscreen afterwards. Tell you. I don't care if you're black, white, purple, pink, whatever. You go in there with the SPF at the end of your routine. You really could just put that on there and that only. Like moisturizer and that. You don't gotta do a lot, but. I'm no dermatologist, I don't know skin like they do, but I'm just saying what I know works for me. So the SPF on top is just cherry on top. I've never posted this, so, but it's definitely fire. But yeah, today's a solar eclipse. And I thought, why not get it on film? I don't know where I'm gonna get the glasses from, Last time we had one was like 2017, if I'm not mistaken. That's when I lived with my grandma on there and she had everything on deck. You know, parents, grandparents, a lot of them, they be, they go above and beyond for their child. She had got me and my sister, she got everybody in the house the glasses and we all was watching it, sitting outside, chilling. We just gonna wing it. Hopefully we can come across some. I'm gonna go check out a store right quick and see if they got some. All right, y'all, so I just talked to my brother and he said he know where they at and Bro, we live in the same area, so he said he gonna just come scoop me. We gonna come, we gonna go and get him. Uh, so yeah, y'all about to see some more of my family. All right, y'all. So we made it to where we going. We about to get these shades. Hopefully, we can find them. If not, my ass gonna be in the house because I'm not about to be blind. Yeah, y'all, we made it here. They got the shades. We gotta wait in the line. I don't know how much they is, but we definitely gonna get some. Where are you trying to eat from? Come on, yeah, it got twin with me, and y'all know who's with me. Same folks, different day. They got that 317 on that mother. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Just one. They talking about people's eyes are gonna be turning. Hold this for me, bro. While I put this in my thing. <laughs> Do not post that. It's <laughs> gonna be in that mug. Oh. All right, y'all. So we got the glasses. Uh, my sister-in-law returning some at the store, so we about to come in here and get that. Probably get some food, and then I'm gonna go to the gym. But it's supposed to start at three something. So, and I'm out here busted. Like I'm literally ready to go to the gym. Like. I'm ready to go to the gym and all, but safety first. But I'll see y'all next whenever I'm either eating or back in the car, one of the two, but see y'all there. Super random, but something's telling me to say this. I don't know who needs to hear it. Y'all know I'm not, I'm not no mind reader or nothing, but I just speak when it cross my mind, but something is telling me to tell somebody that's watching that you are outgrowing who you are with, who you're surrounded by. I'm not saying relationship as in, boyfriend girlfriend i'm saying that you're outgrowing maybe a friend group or something of that nature and i just wanted to tell you that before i got this food because it just came on my mind as i was getting ready to turn on my camera and i'm just like something just is telling me over and over in my head to just say that and it's nothing deep it's just something was telling me to tell you guys that you might be outgrowing the people that you're with and it's time to alter it's a lot of stuff that has to change in order for you to prosper and that's exactly what is going across my mind right now so 
very random, but something just told me that you need to sit back and evaluate. And I'm not sitting here telling you what to do. Y'all know me. I'm not I'm not telling you that. I'm just saying something came across to tell me that I need to tell someone that's watching that you're outgrowing the people that you're with and you have to change your surroundings and it's okay to be alone. It, it don't get no better than that. Because once you break through that, that alone time, like, okay, yeah, there's a bunch of stages with the alone thing. Once you break free from that alone stuff, and um, like you'll be alone and then after alone you'll feel lonely and then you'll just be alone but you'll be content while you're alone once you get to that content place of being alone nothing else will bother you like i love being by myself i know i'm with my family but i love being by myself i'm about to get a sub right now and then we're just gonna chill until we get this um until we get this uh eclipse going on jazz getting some Well, you up for some serious? You already went to Walmart? Oh, ass nigga ain't wanna hold the door. Anymore. I might get a sub though. You already recording, Moses? You said do what? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I be getting that. Shit, ham. But instead of ham, I just get double turkey. Fire. You ain't know what to do. <laughs> I know what I want. Can I get um turkey and cheese sub large? White. Can I get double turkey on it, please? Appreciate it. Can I get it all the way with spicy mustard? Yes, man. Light mayo. Pickles too, please. Yes, ma'am. Huh? I'm a big nigga. What you mean? Uh, turkey, large. Just a sandwich. Uh, and just a water cup. I get some water. I be lying. I said a water cup. You know it's lemonade in my cup. Damn, my baby is so dirty. Look at her. Ugh. Brother, ugh. Okay, then. I just got approved by Granny in there that the hair is valid. So anybody that's hating on it, I don't give up. This is real raw. This is a real raw day today. I'm not doing too much editing to this. I'm just going to post a lot of this just raw just to let it do and see how it is because... I want to try doing longer videos and um yeah so but what i was saying before i got in the car i mean before we got out the car i meant that bro i meant every single word like with the separation and to, uh, the real reason why you guys found me is because what i just said like separating yourself from the old crowd or se separating yourself from the people that you really love because like sometimes what's best is to love people from a distance and um it's it, it's hard, but it, it really isn't that hard. Cause as long as you focus on loving yourself, none of that other stuff really matters. Like, yeah, I went outside and stuff like that the other the other day and stuff like that. I mean, I'm trying to be there for people, you know what I'm saying, that's been there for me and stuff like that. And that's that's fam. So, but that outside thing, just every time I've went outside this year, I've learned or I've seen why I'm supposed to be at home or why I'm supposed to be working, why I'm supposed to be out the way. And when I say work is this, cause I saw somebody ask me like to take take them, somebody commented and asked me to take y'all with me through a day in life of my work job. This is my work. This is my full blown work. Like I don't work for nobody but me. This is all I do. So this is a real raw day, but I'm gonna see y'all when I get to the house, I'm gonna show y'all the sub and then by that time the eclipse will be going on. So 2024 eclipse is on the way. So if something happens after this y'all, hey, this is what the world looked like before it happened. But I'll see y'all soon. It's the final product, the sub. So I'm about to eat this and I'm gonna get up with y'all cause I need to take my time with this. So. After we eat, I 
I see out with the I see out with the sun. This nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, eyes burning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> That's a bumblebee. That shit almost made me fall. No, you moving too fast. <laughs> Make it sat there and I'm gonna get a check. <laughs> <laughs> Disability, dumb ass. <laughs> That nigga shit on The way that shit ain't getting cut out is crazy. I ain't <laughs> 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 It looked like your body collapsed when you did that shit. <laughs> <sighs> One time for the vlog, bro. <laughs> From birthday, <Bernadette>, son. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Hey, you gotta put a pop up in that motherfucker. Boring. <laughs> Brother, ooh. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna put in there behind it. <laughs> Brother, ooh. <laughs> Bro, let me, let me, let me show him, bro. Please let me show him, bro. Bro, bro. please let me show him, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Bro, what the fuck be? What do you be doing in your free time? <laughs> He just took a picture staring at the sun. His eyes is going different way. <laughs> Come in, you looking at me. That can't help, though. That joke crazy. Oh, my God. What we gonna do if shit start falling out the sky? They making it seem like niggas about to be dying and shit. Demons about to be walking around. I remember that. What was that, 2012? The world's about to end on December something. We won't see Christmas and shit. <laughs> I was sitting on the computer watching the countdown and shit. I looked outside. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, the chameleon eyeballs is crazy. The meter rod. <laughs> meter rod, nigga, what did you call it? A meter rod. I've texted him a list of what I want. He was doing a hero, he said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never heard of oregano over here. <laughs> <laughs> oregano. <laughs> <laughs> oregano and propolis. <laughs> Hell nah, boy. I ain't never heard nobody call oregano oregano. <laughs> Look. Oh, that's hard. Uh, What's going on, you guys? It's the next day. It's rainy, as you can see. It's one of them darker days when I just want to sit in the house, but I'm about to get lunch right now, and um, I'm about to fit, uh, do some work as well, so I'm going to take out with me in here. I'm about to get some Panera. If you can see, can you see that? I don't know if you can see it, but I'm about to go into, oops, forgot the windshield wiper. I'm about to go into Panera. I, already, I done already packed the shake. I done packed up everything I needed for the day. So we about to go to Panera, get some work done and eat. It's raining, raining though. Not bad, but. To my book bag and then we'll be good to go. We got some stuff to do. Oof, we wipe this camera off before it floods. Okay. Yeah, it's the next day. The eclipse was nothing like I thought it was. But y'all know me, I'm about to go get this work in, but 
first I gotta get the, the main work done, then I can go get the gym work in, but we gotta get a salad or something. But I'm super, super hungry. Yeah, no problem, bro. You guys in line? Are you sure? Um, how you doing? Can I get a uh, chicken Caesar salad? Whole? Yes, please. Um, just a water cup. Mm -hmm. And it's right here. Oh yes, please. Do you have a Panera card? I don't. What's the name they can call out? Nate. This one don't have the watermelon in it. The watermelon uh, <laughs> lemonade that they got, fire. Y'all know me. Water cup for whatever drink. I'm losing all my money, you don't wanna meet me halfway there Then I don't want it, I don't think that it's fair Cause when she was my homie, you made mistakes and I made one And then you gave up on me Yeah, like a double-sided coin, I flip it, the outcome is always the same Told me I'm childish, but baby, you don't even act your age If I stoop down to your level, then I'll be ashamed We grown now, you said it yourself while you keep playing games so peaceful in there oh it's not running too bad anymore it's so peaceful in Panera I'm about to start rocking with them I'm not gonna lie but okay I, I just finished with all of my work I had to do them taxes boy I've been waiting till the last minute I ain't want to do it but <sighs> had to do it so now we are on the way to you know where and I found my lunchbox that I got from like high school in the uh, attic at my house so from now on, anytime I have to like do something like on the run or something, I'm just gonna put my lunchbox in my car like I did today. I'm gonna put my lunchbox in my car like I did today. With my, um, what's it called? With my protein shake. Easy. I'm gonna provide a, a course soon to show you how I gained all this weight and stuff like that. But we about to go to the gym. It seems like I always record on leg day for some reason. I don't know why. It's like every time I record me going to the gym, it's normally on a leg day. I think the last time, though, was like chest. But it seems like I always record on leg day for some reason. I don't know why. Like, you would expect me to want to record on, like, back and by or, like, chest and back type day, like, you would expect me to want to record on those type of days, but it seems like I always want to record on leg day for some reason. And that's why a lot of my videos of me at the gym always are at the end because I'm doing core because I like core. And I mean, I do core every day, so. But I also want to like pop out with a surprise one day. Like I want to catch people off guard with how I look, but I'm just taking it day by day, step by step. But that salad I just had from Panera, fire, bro. Like. I swear, when you eat it in there, it tastes better than when you eat it 
at um, like when you take it home or take it to go, they be stingy with the sauce. They give you one small little ranch packet, but in there, flooded the bowl. But now I'm on the way to the gym, so I'm about to go get my life together out here. And then, um, yeah, so we're just having a nice little chill day. Y'all want to see what I do in the daytime, see what I be doing. So I'm taking y'all along with me. Um, it's like a two day type of vlog, but we're not complaining, we're kicking it. So I'll see y'all at the gym. But listen, you lost weight. You can come in here and exercise all day and do all types of for shit. I'm trying to get big, nigga. I can't just sit in here playing curls and then do legs and then do abs. It's not gonna get me nowhere. It's not gonna get me nowhere. You gotta do specific muscle groups. No, I'm asking one question. Who told you? Nobody. I did. What you mean? Bro, it's a fat, bro. I ain't never seen no skinny nigga gain off of just coming in here throwing shit around. I done seen big niggas do it though, but I ain't never seen no skinny nigga my size just come in here and not have like no set thing of what they gonna do today. You don't know skinny like I know skinny. I used to work out like that. I didn't know what push pull meant and I used to just go in there and copy niggas. <laughs> Get this nigga for that 25, boy. I'm talking about, bro. I just walked in and he gonna make me drop 25. Oh, I'm saying, come on, man. Today is sit ups. So we do off and, off and on. Oh, he's cheating. He's cheating. I'm talking about, I'm already in a hole 25. It's okay. It's okay. Listen. I'm, I'm talking about, imagine you just get ready to do your 25. You start off with your 25. Have a good day. By the time you get the 10, by the time you get the 10, this is what he doing. And he right back in the face. I'm talking about, my face, I'm telling you, I'm getting 100 clip. One sit up in my face, nigga, like I'm gonna hold you up. Visited ever again. I 
was stuck inside a dark place Heart breaks with heart aches Broken, my heart's left me alone, I'm hurting Thumbing through more paper than a librarian Dirty money never buried Facing the truth and it seems niggas scary It's real life, it can't go nowhere Peers neglecting the peers going everywhere Real soldiers cry and shed tears Key to my heart, it's not here Huh? I'm trying to think Nah, let him go. I wanna see this nigga go. Feelings I cannot deny. Yeah, come on, Will. It's been a while since I thought about you and I. I'm only making it right. Times like these, people wanna get high. Yeah. Real high. It's been a while since I thought about you and I Hope that we can make it right Love how you look in them tight I'm taking them off of your body Love overdosing, I look to you to roll my dosage I've been feeling lonely, one calling, I know a homie L.A.S. we smoking the best before we all floating Looking for a man with all the motion Your body, I control it I'm the man with the motion A, B, X, Y, I control it I'm the man she call on for all of her emotions I'm the one you fall on when you feel like there's no one I got a big heart, hope you see it's going It's been a while since I thought about you and I Hope that we can make it right Love how you look in them tight I'm taking them off your body Love overdosing, I look to you to roll my dosage I showed you my weakness, but I don't wanna be your crib tonight Said you feeling super, I'm your man and our feelings collide When I'm with you, I feel better, now my feelings all alright Don't want you for your body, baby, I want you for your mind Don't wanna be the weak link, but when I'm around you, baby, you make me so easy Alright, Shy, I'm tired um, I recorded a good bit of the leg day. I know y'all really don't give up because I'm not the biggest dude when it comes to last stuff. So, but that's all progression. We'll look back at this video a year from now and we'll see the progression. We'll see how I was just doing six plates on a hot squat to maybe we'll say uh, ten, like a year from now. We'll just see. But. I didn't want to just do the abs at the end of it. I wanted to show y'all a little bit of what I was doing in here. So, but now I recorded a good, I think I recorded about four workouts out of the eight. So now we're about to get in the core. Um, me and the gym bros might do some uh, some circuits together. If not, I'll do them by myself, but we're about to get into that right now. What's up guys? Post gym, just ate some spaghetti. Slam that. Whew. Today was a good day. Um, we got a lot of work done. Tried something new, a new style with the vlog, like cozy, calm. Like I took y'all with me when I had to do my work on my laptop. And then I went to the gym afterwards, a little bit of leg day. Definitely gonna feel it tomorrow. We did sleds. So we did weighted abs at the end. And then we also did sleds. So that's definitely gonna be uh, something in the next two days. It's nothing but grinding right now. Um, like I said in the last vlog, I um, I did have a, a drink or two. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm not proud of it, but you know, I it's not like somebody was holding something to my head and making me do it. Like I did it, of course. But um, that ain't happening again. At least not for a, a good a good while. I have no I have no end goal when it comes to or intaking like liquor and any type of alcohol like that. It's just like I've grown from it. Like when I did it, like when I've done it, even in the moment, like I'm still kind of just like, what was the point? Cause when I come home, I'm just like, I wasted time. Like, I mean, of course it's made memories and stuff, but it's not like memories that have been like, oh my God, that's the most fun I've ever had in my life. No, they've just been memories like, oh, okay, that was cool. So it's just time to go back into that hole not the dark hole, just back into that hole of, you know, 
what I've been doing this whole time. I never stopped. I just had a drink or two, you know what I'm saying? And ain't no point, ain't no need, because I literally gained nothing from it. And when I go to the gym the next day, I just feel like a piece of shit, because I'm just like, what was that even for? You feel me? So, but I just want to be completely open with you guys. Like, I promise, like, it ain't none of that going on no more. Like, at least not for now. Like, I'm not saying I'll never do it again, but I'm just saying... For the meantime, for what I see and what I want for myself to, you feel me, go to that next level, that that just has to get cut out. There's no point. I don't gain anything from it. I end up having pointless conversations with people off of it. Like, don't get me wrong. I've had great conversations off of it, but there's no value behind it. Because after that is gone, like, little do you know, you'll forget that person sooner or later. Like, the conversations that I have had with people in the past and even of recently when I've had a drink. I couldn't tell you their names. I don't know anybody. Like, it's just like a a drink when you're outside or something like that is basically like an album filler to me. Not every song hits. Um, they gotta hit a certain amount of tracks or a certain amount of records for their album. That's basically what the drink is. Like, some nights it's gonna be hits when you have it and then some nights it's not. But it's like, I'd rather have none of those nights and I'd rather just have straight hits when it comes to what I want for me. And that's not liquor and that's not anything of that nature. Like, anything intoxicated, I don't want nothing to do with it. And when I say hits, I mean like making sure that I did the best I could today, making sure I went to the gym, made sure I ate what I was supposed to eat, make sure I took in enough water, make sure my family is okay. I mean, I'm not, excuse me, I'm not in the best position to take care of my entire family. And I know that's a lot of people's goal. That's one of my goals. Um, but I don't have the biggest family in the world. I do have a lot of siblings, but I don't have the biggest family in the world because, like, that's just, it's a long story. So long story short, like, all I want to do one day is just be able to take care of all my family and stuff like that. And that's, I think that's literally everybody's goal. You know what I'm saying? So, but me going outside and, you know what I'm saying, getting a drink or two, like, I'm not sitting here degrading anybody that does it because, I mean, that would make me a hypocrite. And I've been a hypocrite in the past. I used to say, don't do this, and I'll go do it anyways. I was just being a weirdo back then. Like, not really a weirdo, but just insecure with myself. When I saw other people doing stuff that I did, I didn't like it, and I don't know, it was just weird. I had my own problems that I was dealing with. More of the story is just like, if you really want something, you gotta really go get it and make it happen, because it's not gonna fall in your lap. Like, I've said this so many times, like, to so many people, even, and even in my videos, I've said it too. Yeah, I'm here to tell you right now, the whole outside life, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I've never been outside. I used to be outside every day. But like, I'm here to tell you, like, I've experienced these things, and that's why I share them with you guys, because it's just, why sit here and waste the time when I can sit here and let you know ahead of time? For the younger people that watch me, anything that has to do with loud music, liquor, and hoes, bro, cut it out. Like, you gain nothing from it. I had a situation where one time I ran into somebody outside, whatever. I don't know who they were. They were just like, oh, he's handsome, da 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 da, da. Thank you, ma'am. Keep it pushing. I ran into him again later. This time around, she's trying to do something with me. And I'm like, ah, like I'm cool. Folks that I'm with is like, you tripping. If that was me, I would have did it. Okay, gang, that to you. I'm a different type of person. Like in the past, of course, I had to live and I had to learn. So, you know what I'm saying? Like I done did things in my past. I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? So, but now that I am who I am today, like I'm fully comfortable in my skin and I don't want to crawl out of it anymore. And I love who I am inside of my own skin now. No, I don't want to go do this with this girl that I don't know. Like, I'm cool. Like, you can have that. Like, I've graduated from that. I've moved on from that. It's no need to do this. Like, it's pointless relations. Like, if that's what you want, and I'm the man when it comes to throwing the alley-oop. Like, huh, you can have her. Or, huh, you can have this person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I take no offense to it. Like, if somebody find me attractive and I don't care for it, like, huh, boom. But I'm just going to completely cut all of that out by just not being in the way of anything or not being outside because like what am I gaining from it? Why am I sitting here having fun but I'm really sitting here thinking like damn I could be like doing something way better right now. I could literally be by myself. Being by myself is my favorite thing and that's really why like I just don't care to be around people anymore honestly and it's not that I'm against it. I just simply do not care i know one day it'll change but i just feel like i don't i don't see it happening anytime soon because i like who i am now i really do because back then i genuinely hated myself and i just 
would do things to take my mind off of anything that had to do with me. I done did it all, you know what I'm saying? To an extent though, to an extent. I done did a lot of stuff and I don't regret anything. I've definitely done harm in the past, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not proud of it, but I'm not the type of man that's gonna sit here and act like I'm picture perfect and I've never done anything because that's fraud. And I'm the type, I'm the type of nigga that's gonna tell you what it is every single time, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't really care, like I don't hold back. Like all my family know like, oh, like if something, if something needs to be said, Nate gonna say it. Like all my family know that. That's just the hand I was dealt as I've grown up. So don't be scared to tell the people that you love what, what needs to be said. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't hold back. Just tell them. And if they take it the wrong way, obviously, they need some fixing and you need some fixing because you not being able to realize that this person can't take the truth, that says something about you. Because if you're with somebody and you rock with them, they should be able to take the truth. Like, as long as you speaking the truth, you ain't lying on them. As long as you ain't, you know what I'm saying, doing no foul shit to your people, bro, and... You keeping it a bean with them, bro, it's longevity with that. It's really longevity to have, like, just those couple of friends, those couple of family members that you can really talk to about certain things and stuff like that. But don't ever say too much to nobody. Even if your world feels like it's ending, bro, I promise you it's not. Because I've been there, bro. I've been there, done that, like, on the edge. It's a lot of stuff that goes on that no nobody know about. But I've been there before, bro. And when I say I was on the edge, I think you can pick up on what I was saying. I've been there to where the light was almost gone. Brody, I'm here to tell you it's not worth it. You gain nothing from it. Just stay focused. If you're not focused, it's okay. Take it day by day. That's like my go-to phrase. I say it in the gym all the time. I ain't thinking about what exercise I'm gonna be doing on December 17th at 2.03 p.m. I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do tomorrow after I finish my day today. So just don't compare your life to nobody. Don't compare your... Don't compare anything that you have going on to anybody. That is the root of all evil. Comparison. Comparison is the thief of joy. So be careful with what you're thinking. Be careful with what you're saying. The power of the tongue is real. The power of the tongue is how I have you watching me right now. No bullshit. Like real talk. So y'all be safe. Y'all be careful. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Appreciate everything.